Hey guys, Seth here. It's been quite a long time since I've actually done a vlog, so why don't I actually update you guys on some things? Most importantly, two questions. Where has Sakrona been over the last couple of years? And is Sakrona back on YouTube? Let's start with the first question. Over the last couple of years, I've been streaming on a site called Mixer. Just the name alone should already indicate where this is going. I was introduced to it by my good real life friend, Fantastic One. And I fell in love with the site, even when I had crappy internet and couldn't really stream that well. I got my internet upgraded so I could stream properly, and just fell in love with the low latency and all that jazz and all the fun stuff that happened with Mixer. Although some controversy happened at the Mixer headquarters, and a lot of my friends were starting to move over to Twitch temporarily. Temporarily. And I thought to myself, well, unless they do something even worse than what they did already, then I'm not going to be going to Twitch. Lo and behold, after I heard about the news of what happened at the Mixer headquarters, I found out that Mixer was going to go to Facebook Gaming. No, I wasn't going to Facebook Gaming. So I quickly went back to Twitch, and I've been streaming there for the last five months. Since then, I've become an affiliate, which just is kind of the step below partner, which partner probably ain't happening anytime soon if ever. So that's where I've been as of late. Well, that, and I also switched real life jobs, no longer flipping burgers, that's great. I edited videos for another one of my buddies, though he hasn't really given me any new content to edit, so I've been trying to fill in some extra time. That's where my videos have been coming in. Which is also a perfect segue into the next question that I wanted to answer. Is Sakrona back on YouTube? And to that I say, kind of? After editing some videos for my buddy Young Retro, which you should totally go check out his Twitch, by the way. Link in the description, same with my Twitch link. I kind of got a hankering to edit my own videos. And so I started editing some stream highlights from a couple of my favorite streams that I've done recently. While I had fun doing it, it didn't feel quite the same. Not having as much freedom to move my camera around or edit my audio away from the game audio just felt really strange and different. So I figured, why not edit a few more videos for my own channel, which I haven't done since many moons ago. And now I've started to realize this might be an issue. If you just include the number of hours I'm at work on average during the week, and the number of hours I stream average during the week, I'm generally busy about 47 to 50 hours a week. And that's before adding the YouTube videos. The problem with adding YouTube videos into the mix is that unless the video game in question is a story-based game, and so it has a point A to a point B kind of progression, the videos take about eight hours for me to edit. It's not really because I'm super slow on editing, it's more along the lines that I just go full ham on editing. And every single time I'm going through the footage, I'm like, ooh, I could add a little special effect there. Ooh, I could zoom in right there. And it ends up going from like what would generally take me about four hours into eight hours or 10 hours. And while I love editing videos and I love entertaining you folks, unless there's like a huge payout, not like, you know, payout as in like, unless I'm getting paid for it, but more like, you know, Unless there's a certain number of people watching it, it makes it feel like I just wasted eight hours of my life. And when I'm already busy during the week, it's very stressful. And seeing as how 2020 has already been stressful enough for all of us as it is, I don't need to add more stress to my life. I guess what I'm saying is I want to come back. I want to edit more videos. But I would like to know that I'm actually editing it for a crowd of people and not just like three people. And yes, I know that sounds like the give me more views. I want to be popular. I mean, yeah, that'd be dope, but that's not my point here. My point here is it feels like spending eight to ten hours on a video just to fall on deaf ears is not really worth the extra stress in my life. I don't even really have a lot of time to do personal things like exercise or play guitar even. It's been so long since I touched my baby. I need my baby, I need my six string. The reason why I don't have a lot of time for any of this is because I spend all my time doing content creation. If I can eliminate several hours worth of content creation just to add a few extra hours to my day, or even just an hour or two to my day to do personal things like exercise or play guitar, just me time, then I'm going to do that. However, if this does end up being a thing where people are enjoying it and this actually starts going somewhere and entertaining people and it's actually reaching people, then I would be more than happy to continue editing videos. Like I said, I just want to know that the numerous hours that I put into these videos is actually worth the time. 
and not just, you know, no one cares. I would just love there to be like a middle ground where the time I spend doing these videos is totally worth it and a lot of you people will appreciate it. So I guess to answer the question, is Sakurna back on YouTube? The only answer I can really give is, we'll see. We'll see if I have the mental capacity and the energy to keep doing it. But your support is greatly appreciated. And I don't mean support like, you know, oh, pay me money. I just mean like, you know, the emotional support, the, the watching the videos, the commenting, the sharing the love. I love that. That's why I like doing content creation. Well, that it strokes my ego whenever someone says something because it makes me feel important, even though in the grand scheme of things, I'm really not that important. As for the games I'll actually be recording Let's Plays for, probably going to be mostly Smash Brothers because I love that game to death. But I'm going to see if I can find a PC game to play as well. But it's probably only going to be two games for right now because part of the problem I had back when I was doing videos in 2018 and prior was I was all over the place when it came to video games I was playing. So I'm going to limit it down to two. Smash Brothers and one PC game just to show off all the gloriousness of my new PC. That being said, thank you everyone who came here to watch this and listen to my ramblings, who's been here to watch my new videos and just support me both here on YouTube and on Twitch. Thank you guys so much for everything you do for me and I will talk to you all soon. Until then, see ya.